Yeah, Chibi Ultica is the one we're gonna go with for a little while. Hey there, Explosive Runes. Thanks very much for the Prime Sub. Welcome, welcome. You vote turn around, go north. I'm leaning that way myself. If I thought I had a chance of getting a view, like getting into this apartment tower, I might try it. So we might stop the car up here. I think I've already got sighted. Yeah, we've already been sighted. So they're gonna come towards me, so I don't have a chance to just quietly back up and then cut through the trees and try to do a mad dash up to the top of the apartment tower. Plus, it's going to take a long time to do it. So this does not look like... And it also doesn't look like it's a large city, so the number of possible pharmacies is probably going to be pretty small. So I think for this one, the better call is going to be to turn around and go somewhere else. I just... We've got a lot of gas and a, and a good, strong vehicle, so I think traveling to try to find a better opportunity in this case is probably wise. So that's what we're going to do. I missed my wing mirrors. <laughs> I knew I'd rip them off first thing when I started ramming stuff. If we're going to leave the area completely, maybe I'll go back and grab the ammo. Since it's some, uh, somewhat on the way. Yeah, let's do it. Take us a few seconds. Whoa. Uh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> Can I do it before these guys get to me? Whoa! Oh, shite! Oh, I'm in so much trouble. I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. oh, I knew it was bad. I knew it was bad! Spearcat Hunter down here. I stepped into the wrong space. 400 points for me to move a space. I knew he was going to easily get to me before I could get the door closed. <laughs> well, our issues with, uh, with infection might not be so pressing. <laughs> Okay, we only have one op option here. Um, actually, I've had some weirdness with with animals in the door slot, with me being able to drive off, and they. they uh, I don't think this this one will. I got two choices. I can start driving and hope he falls out the door spot, or I or he gets run over. I have had it happen on occasion with like uh, zombie dogs and stuff, and I, I've never been able to figure out why. If that doesn't work, I'm going to be taking a whole bunch of damage while I do that experiment. My only other option is to go to full burst mode and just literally spray and pray. Probably blow out the side of my vehicle with all the misses. <laughs> oh, Spearcat Hunter. Good, 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 good times. Once again, I, I didn't notice the graphic close enough. I knew it was going to be death by me not recognizing. Last time we were down here, the Spear Hunter was 40 some north of here. So it didn't occur to me he would be this far south. Yeah, I, I, I probably we should go. Uh, we should go full. So we're gonna go uh, full auto. We're gonna switch our fire mode over to auto. That's the capital F key to switch the fire mode. We're gonna hit fire, and then I'm gonna have to guess if I can do any aiming. I'm gonna try to aim three times before firing. One, two. I failed. <laughs> Guessed wrong. Fire again. One, two. Please let me have three. All right, he gave me three. So we're, we're up to, what is that? 56, 66, 74% chance of decent hits. Some headshots possible, but it's a burst mode. We're going to miss most of them. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. He took damage from something. He must have come down chasing something. All right, let's give it a try. Look at all that head damage. I think he did all that. I was at full health. He did all that. And, oh, yeah, that's right. We're, we got glass jaw. I got less hit points on the head. <laughs> we did hit him, though. Look at that. Look at that. We ripped him up. How's he doing? He's almost dead. One more burst should do it. Back to full auto. One, two... All right, so <laughs> your theoret. Wait a minute. Your theoretical. Oh, I see. Because our practical went up to one, our theoretical followed it. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. So there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Pre practical skill of marksmanship increased. Therefore, our theoretical got dragged up to that level. Our practical rifles went up by one. Our theoretical rifle went up by one. 
You can't have a theoretical below the practical, so it'll always drag up your theoretical to match your practical. If your theoretical goes higher than your practical, then you get a an XP bonus for uh, practicing that skill, and you will learn it faster. That's one of the things we're, we're kind of testing out with this particular challenge. I wanted to specifically examine, if we stay alive through the infection, specifically examine the new theoretical practical skill shifts and uh, all that stuff. Show. Hey, Verm. I'm liking the new tile set. How goes it? All right, so we're still alive. Hey there, Arden Drub. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's no bones about it. I really, really prefer the Undead People tile set, but <laughs> we're, we're, we're moving away from it for various reasons. And so I'm trying to find a middle ground that I can live with in the meantime. And that's kind of what's going on. <laughs> okay. I doubt there'll ever be a push action separate from martial arts. Yeah, there's 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 skills are now divided or not really divided, but they're kind of separated into theoretical and practical. If you squat in a basement reading books for a month, you're going to be all full up on theoretical knowledge. But you won't be able to put that to use until you actually do practice for that thing. You can't just read your way to victory. It's impossible to just squat in a basement reading books for a month and then emerge as a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 skills and go out and smite the universe. You've got to actually put those theoretical skills to uh, our knowledge to use and practice. You raise your applicable skills. Like I said, the more theoretical skill you have, you get a bonus for how quickly your practical skill will raise. Another thing they're adding, and I think they've only got a little bit of it implemented currently, is there are practice recipes. So theoretically up here, now that we've got, see we have a practice column with all of the different categories. Uh, how do we move those lower categories? I don't think I can because I don't have any. <laughs> but uh, there will be practice recipes now that can appear here that you can do that will gain you practical skill um, without you needing specific recipes for like mechanics for example it was always rough because there are certain levels of mechanics where there were no skills that you could use to to raise it with uh, crafting things um, so they're going to be practice activities that you can do they will require some kind of raw material for that particular uh, type of thing you're doing um, but they're going to be more economical than doing regular recipes for the intent of just raising the skill. So you don't have to make socks specifically to raise tailoring. You can just do, go to the practice recipe for tailoring and uh, do it that way. But it's not fully implemented yet. They've just rolled out the very, very beginning of it. I don't know which recipes they've actually got in yet. We'll see. Ah. Uh, a lot of chat going on. Let me catch up here. Any sound pack you recommend? Uh, I list it in my, uh, my settings screen. It's always listed there, all the settings that I use. It's a combo at sound pack with uh, the music spliced in from the Coag sound pack. <laughs> you hope SDG returns soon? Eh. <laughs> Uh, better off without him. Why the shift away? I I'm not going to get into the specifics and the details, so problematic individual is the only thing that I'm going to say. If you want more info, feel free to go to Reddit, go to Discords, do some searching. You won't have a problem finding <laughs> the information. But uh, he's he's abandoned the tile set again for the third time. I, second or third time? I forget how many times. But he picked up his toys and went home after having a fit. And um, that alone is not really the, thing, the reason why. But uh, there are other issues involved. But yeah, so. You can go find the info. I'm not going to bring it up here. But yeah, it's time to move away from it. Much as I love the tile set, love the graphics, much prefer it over the other ones, it's, it's time to move on. 
Okay, so we'll be experimenting. I'll try this one this evening. I might switch to Pure Ultica for the next one, so more people can see the other tile sets and I can kind of decide which one I like. What I'm struggling with more than the tile sets is still the graphical overmap. I, the loss of information for me is just so profound. It just, I, I can, I can live with the graphics. I just, I can't live with the, the difficulty of identifying buildings. <laughs> that's, that's what's going to drive me nuts. So, it's what I always feared about the uh, graphical map. And, uh, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> Wish chest hole was updated. Yeah, I started with chest hole. Chest hole is just one of the ones that was star was was based on the old MS uh, MS Zotto's file set, if I remember right. Uh, it just stopped being updated. But chest hole was basically oh wait. Not Zotto? God, I don't remember. It's too long ago. But yeah, I started with chest hold myself. I can. I can turn off the graphical over map. But I'm trying not to. <laughs> it's a new day. We're using new graphics. I'm trying to use the new map. So I, I got to learn to do it because it's going to be the, the default eventually. So I try to play the game with the default as much as possible. That's why I don't stray into the... A lot of the more esoteric mods and so on. I try to play the, the generic game uh, with the most default settings. Yeah, I bump up the difficulties and all that on some of my runs. But uh, I, I know the graphical over map is going to become default. And eventually they may actually get rid of the ASCII map. So it's, uh, it's time to start trying to learn that one as well. My loss of information. I am referring to the fact that on every single tile set version I have seen... If I scroll the map over top of a city, I absolutely cannot tell... I can't find a hunting store. I can't find a pharmacy. I can't find... I can instantly recognize it on the old style, but I cannot recognize it on the graphical versions. They're just too small. This is the only problem. It's just they're too small. And a lot of them don't have the graphics updated yet. So I don't have a good example here because we can't see enough of the city. But it's just the fact that I have to zoom... I have to zoom in like this, and then very carefully scroll around looking for very slight couple pixel differences in color or design to figure out all the different commercial buildings. And it's not that I'm not used to it, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just, there's just no way to, to really make it, I don't think, with the graphics set, it's, there's just going to be a loss of information, there's just no way to get around it, I don't think. So if we switch back to, for people that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, <laughs> this is the ASCII map that I've been using for a very long time. I don't have a good example, like I don't have enough things set up here, but I, I can instantly recognize the apartment tower and the golf course and so on. But when you get into the city area where you've got dozens and dozens and dozens of building variations with letters and color combos with this map, I can instantly just look at it and I can my eyes can instantly say, oh, all right, we got three hunting supply stores, I got four electronic stores, I got two gun stores, three libraries, two bookstores, all of that's instant. But I, I am never going to achieve that same level of, of instant visibility with the new graphical map style. It's just not going to happen. I don't know how they could possibly variate the, t the tiles at that level of available pixels enough with the sheer variety that we have. A lot of it is just preference, and yeah, I've got thousands of hours looking at that other map, so I, I have no doubt there's a lot of that going on. But, <laughs> there's been an awful lot of talking here after I got uh, I got uh, attacked by the, the bad thing. Uh, everybody keeps chatting at me! I'm trying to keep up. Eventually, graphic overmap is going to be default. Right now, you can switch back and forth either or with the ASCII map as the default. 
At some point, enough of the tile sets will be updated that I'm certain they'll flip the default status. They'll make the graphical map the default, but still have the ASCII map available to switch to. At some point in the future, I believe they're going to say, all right, enough supporting both. We've got a good solution here. We're going to get rid of the ASCII map, and it'll be graphic graphic map from then on. So that is the plan, and um, we're 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 trying to make use of it. <laughs> I would love it if they would make the independent the tile set the map tile set independent of the uh, the main tile set. I'd mentioned that a few times in the past, and I completely agree. I, I wish they would be independent entities so I could pick the Chibi Ultica tile set for the main game, but choose the Retro Days over map or whatever. Uh, or even some totally non-associated one. So I, I think it would be awesome if we could separate them from the main tile set. What keys do you need to use to scroll the overmap? Just arrow keys. To zoom it? You can only zoom. You can't zoom the ASCII map. This one you cannot zoom. You can zoom the overmap, or the graphical map, and that's just the Z. Just like you zoom the main game. The exact same keys. Uh... Map tile sets being separate, probably going to happen before default on. That'd be cool. If we could do that, that'd be awesome. we're talking about them. Let's go ahead and switch over real quick. So this is uh, MS Auto Plus is another one I'm looking at. It's the one most closely whoops, most closely matched to the, uh, the previous one. Whoa. I don't, I don't remember if I looked at this version's map. <laughs> But as you can see, the character sprite looks the same. Brain looks different. But MS Auto Plus, MS Auto Plus the uh, I just can't get into Retro Days. I know lots of people like Retro Days. More power to you. And then uh, Ultimate Cataclysm, which is shortened to Ultica, is uh, quote unquote the default. I just can't get behind this one. I just. The, the the little tiny skinny characters and such drive me a little nuts. We'll leave this one on for now. I can't leave this one on. I want to I want to stay with the other one for this particular one. <laughs> we might switch to it next episode. Maybe I'll take a. All right, this gets us back to where we were. Um, let's get back to some game playing. <laughs> let's um. Let's see, I was going to grab some ammo there before I got rudely ambushed. We're bleeding. Uh, in pain. I got stuff coming up behind me, I think. We're deaf. Skeletal shocker and acid zombies. Examine vehicle. I don't want to examine the vehicle. I want some oh, crap. Nah, this, this timing's getting too close. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Stop the bleeding first. So a full bandage on my poor head. 
And do we have any painkiller? I don't think I have any painkiller. No painkiller. Alright, let's keep driving. Yeah, I can't play ASCII either. Sorry. Once uh, roguelikes <laughs> started having tile set graphics, I wasn't interested in moving back to, uh, to ASCII. I got quite enough playtime on ASCII back in the, the 70s. Yes, the 1970s. I'm not willing to go back, thanks. <laughs> uh, let's not, uh, not drive into that. Dermatic Hive. Hey there, Dermatic Hive. Well, hello there. Other, other city. Um... Hmm, zombie in that building to the north. Uh, search houses, don't search houses. I have an opportunity possibly to get into this house here without anybody seeing me. Yeah, let's, let's stop for a second. Nothing has spotted me. All the zombies are in that house to the north. Alright, let's see if we can make it into this house. Without something coming after me. Nope. Damn it. Really? A listener zombie? <laughs> what, what is he just decided to come strolling exactly this direction? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that's some bullcrap. Fine, fine. Oh, I, I think this is my favorite building. Is this the duplex? I think this is the duplex. Y'all know how much I love the duplex. I couldn't tell that was actually an open window at first. What do we got? Gallon jugs of ammonia. Nothing useful. So we are 30 days uh, into... Well, we, we started 30 days after the Cataclysm, so much of the food is going to be rotten. Hey, the butter's not bad yet. How's that possible? Butter's supposed to be bad by now. Hmm, that's interesting. Why you know bad butter? It's only supposed to be good for two weeks. Is it because it was supposedly in the refrigerator? Without power for two weeks? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I've got a knife. I need a hammer. I need a screwdriver. Alright, this is your first opportunity. Failed. Locked. Nothing useful. And nothing I care about. I don't know where the listener zombie wandered off to. Zombie over there too, huh? Oh, he's he's beating up my car. <laughs> Why? Why are you beating up my car, you stupid? I don't know, maybe it's not the zombie. Yep, it was the zombie. So, exactly what drew the listener zombie down to the vehicle? I mean, the vehicle's making noise, yes. So did he hear me initially? Came all the way down? Even though the vehicle was off for like 6, 40 tiles of his movement, he came down and then decided to start banging on a random vehicle? Because that's kind of... <laughs> no, it sounds only 38. He shouldn't have come anywhere near this. Well, I guess that's 30. I moved up a bit. He was right at the outer edge, but he is a listener zombie, so he's got stronger... S well, I don't think that lets him hear farther. Maybe it does. 
I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how that works. <laughs> it just seemed weird, though. Uh, let's see. Drive through town. It is 940. We're banged up pretty bad already. I see. I'm worried about not being able to recognize ambulances and stuff, too. It's harder for me to recognize the vehicles. Pickup truck. Car with an animal compartment. Still just regular housing. Let's uh, look for more opportunities. Dissolute Devourers, Grapplers. Hmm. Now we're hitting forest on one side as well. Yeah, the noise is attracting these guys, I think. 39 and 40. Sound 38 for the vehicle. Oh, yeah. Look at those guys. Wow. All right, the semi-truck's going to be less useful than I was hoping, <laughs> given how loud it is. Is that, a, is that an ambulance? I can't tell. No, that's a road roller. That is security van. I think that's a security van. I hate not being able to recognize everything immediately. Uh, yeah, noise is... It's a little tricky in some ways, but theoretically... What happens is if your vehicle makes a hundred noise, that means 100 tiles out, any zombie up to that point is gonna be able to hear you. Now, how far they're willing to travel to chase that noise is gonna depend on a few things. How far they are from the source and so on. If the zombie is at 80 tiles and it's a hundred noise, he's not gonna travel that whole distance. Um, been a long time since I tried to explain the noise system. Plus, they get distracted by other things. It's not really 100% reliable. Every time I try to demonstrate it, it turns out not to be working the way it's supposed to be working. But, yeah, you gotta be careful of the noise. Theoretically, things as far out as the noise value are gonna be able to hear you. I think I might just go for a drive in the city. We, we don't have a lot of time. I can't keep futzing around looking for things. So let's let's wreck our vehicle. I don't have it on double zombies this time, so we won't have quite as many enemies in the town. Still not seeing any vehicles. Let's go north one more. Alright, wing mirrors are off. That's a crowd we're not going to enjoy. Home improvement store. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good times. Let's see. Van. Cargo van. Another Humvee. <laughs> four by four. What do we got for building? Still, still just in the residential district. Ouch. I need to get east. Turning is dangerous, though. Turning gives opportunities for zombies to get into the vehicle with me. Ouch. Policeman car. And we're still looking at residential primarily. Coming at me. <laughs> Dog pack. And we're still in residence. So yeah, there's, there's just no way I can distinguish. These all have the same graphic, which is the problem currently in this tile set, but I just, the information's gone. I mean, garage, mill surplus, wooded trail. <laughs> okay, wooded trail. <laughs> Police station. 
public art. Love to hit a garage, but we got no opportunity for that. We got to keep trying to find a pharmacy, preferably. Yeah, map's just not complete enough. All right, we're going to continue. We'll dodge. Oh, crap. End of the road, literally. That's not good. Also a dead end north. Ah, uh, crap. Kind of makes me want to backtrack and go back this way. That or I go south and hope I can connect over here and circle around. Uh, I'm not going to make it through any of those buildings. Oh, hey, zombie dog. You, you showed up. All right, give me a second. Okay, zombie dog. There you go. You got it? Catch up with chat while zombie dog chews. <laughs> yeah, you can change tile sets anytime you want. As you can see, I've done it like half a dozen times so far this episode. Doesn't affect anything. Retro Days Over map is similar to ASCII. Yeah, I can show it. Alright, now we got Zombie Dog taken care of. The, the real reason we're all here. Keep Zombie Dog fat and happy. Uh, yeah, we can switch it over. Options, graphics, and... Retro Days or Retro Days Plus? I have no idea the difference, or... <laughs> what am I supposed to be picking? What am I showing off? I assume it's a reference to the Retro Days over map. Regular? Alright, so Retro Days. Show over map. So it's, well, there's no way to tell those apart, but I, again, I don't have a huge variation of things to show in the city here. Some houses are the graphics, some aren't. Yeah, I noticed we got the directionality for the houses, which is one info piece I didn't want to lose. So I've seen the various tile sets have different versions, like we have the sidewalk indicators and things like that. Uh, you see some variation between some of the houses. Ah, uh, is that the duplex? <laughs> I bet that's the duplex. Gonna guess that's the duplex. Did I mention I hate duplexes? <laughs> I hate them. Got into a lot of trouble in duplexes. So yeah, retro days in all its glory. It's cool and all. I, I just I can't quite get behind it. It is cool, though. It is one I have no problem recommending people check out. Okay, back to... Uh, what the hell was I using? <laughs> Chibi Ultica and False. Little Chibi Ultica gets some more tiles. What do we got out here? Anything fun? Shuck zombies, soldier zombies, a lot of cops. That's because we got the police station nearby. A police station. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I could, I, I really don't wanna back up. I haven't seen any ambulances. I think I'm gonna go south and have come across if I don't have a pathway across right here. So let's maintain this direction. Pick up the speed right down the middle. We do have a theoretically clear path. Well, I'm willing to bump a few things. <clears throat> hey, old Verm. 
<laughs> if you do two O's, it'll pronounce my name correctly. <laughs> we discovered that finally. If you do V-O-O-R-M, it'll actually say Vorm instead of Verm. Oh, I've been carrying lots of folders for a really long time. <laughs> if I don't, I lose a million different little settings and stuff. But yes, you are correct. I have been carrying over folders for quite a while. Oops, we rammed something. Um, uh, this is a gnarly looking little city. All right, back up the road. Uh, we might get a semi through there. Oh, what, what? What, what's that corner vehicle there? Uh, I don't think that's an ambulance. Not one single ambulance has made its appearance yet. Hey there, letter G. You want a praying mantis? Grasshopper stuff? Do we have a bunch of grasshopper stuff now? So, grocery store, church radio station with Dolio, the meteorologist. A lot of NPCs in specialized locations now. That's cool. Um, Alright, we're taking a right. Look at all that gas. Let's try not to hit the gas pumps on our way by. Yeah, hunting supply store. <laughs> Normally one of my prime targets. Small chance of uh, medical items in the grocery stores, but I don't think antibiotics is usually on the list. It's usually uh, bandages and uh, antiseptic. Possibly it still has antibiotics. It's been a while since I checked. There's one shelf in each of the grocery stores, though, that usually has a small sampling. Let's uh, just keep barreling down the road here. Try to pick the line that's going to be the least number of explosions. So many grocery stores. Hmm. I just love driving through towns blind. What do you think? North or south? I'll let you guys pick. Where are we going? Do they have a livestock store in CDDA? No, no livestock store. <laughs> Two south, one... No, oh, Fertile Creek was quickest, so south it is. I usually go with whoever's first. Still nothing useful. <laughs> grocery store, grocery store, grocery store. Okay. I'm worried. So the nameplate is here. We need to circle the nameplate. That's where gonna be where the uh the commercial district is. So we're gonna go this way and then back north. Yep, now we're losing parts. Oh, is that an ambulance? I think that's an ambulance finally. I can't see the baskets. <laughs> I can't see the baskets. I needs to see the baskets. Did I get an angle on the baskets? Oh, I can. They're all empty, it looks like. Oh, one of them's got stuff. What do you think? What are the chances? What the hell is this thing? <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, that's the thorny shambler. Okie dokie, thorny shambler. Huh. I don't know. It's the first ambulance we've seen. My chances of getting out of the vehicle, checking it, and getting back into the vehicle are really small. <laughs> the ambulance is also doing a good job of blocking the route I wanted to take. <laughs> Syringe, scissors. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to be. But you know, it could be a good one. It could be. I just don't think I'm desperate enough yet to get out and check for one basket. Not likely we'll get back here, but we'll mark it temporarily. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get around this thing. I need to kind of do a a, a loop de doo. Gel jug. Apartment 
towers. V soldiers. Man, I hate not being able to have the town mapped via a nearby radio tower or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna hook back to the east. Whoops. Mm, hey, light post. <laughs> now we gotta go north. That road doesn't go through. Uh-oh. Uh, well, that didn't work out the way I wanted. Uh, I got, I tried to turn too sharp and I got hung up on this vehicle. Not let everything maneuver in a way I'm not gonna be able to get north very easily. That's not good either. Vehicle's not gonna last a huge amount of time longer. Museum, there's my uh, fitted chain mail and plate mail. Then we can just step out and start smiting things. Uh, yuck. Security truck. What is that? That is weird looking. That's the road roller with busted rollers, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is this is not going well. Um little angle here is gonna suck. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> Please be moving. Fire engine, huh? Still no sign of anything useful. Yeah, I'm real tempted just to bash the vehicle into the wall of the museum and then run in and just slap on... Oh, there's another ambulance. Slap on a suit of plate mail, <laughs> some chain mail. Grab a wakazashi. Get to work. Now I got the same problem. I'm not going to get views on the... Basket, unless I try to go down and then hook around and get a view. Still no buildings that are helpful. Yeah, we're going to die in the middle of this city. Pretty soon now I'm going to get a hitchhiker or the vehicle is going to get hung up. And that'll be it. Yeah, it might be right here. <laughs> Uh, I can keep going forward. I think I'm gonna do that. All the baskets are empty. No loot in the ambulance. Well, that solves that problem. I wanted to go south. Check out what's on this side of the block. I think I'm gonna have to go east. Well, I guess I could pivot south right now. Or not. <laughs> well, that went pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, I gauged that one incorrectly. <laughs> what is this wacky thing in front of me? Headless Horror. Gonna be a more functional APC. <laughs> Still no sign of a 
a uh, pharmacy or a dock office. No am one ambulance that had one basket of items. Oh, did my change of map get rid of my map note? I don't know. I don't know where the ambulance was now. <laughs> I have lost track of it. I think we're getting close to it, fully exploring the downtown area here. Hmm. 9.50. Pain and infection slowing us down tremendously. At least we're not cold anymore. Our stats are trashed. Um, we're still just tired status. We haven't moved into the next category. Fatigue hasn't crippled us quite yet. doesn't look good. <laughs> northwest and below, northwest, northwest and below, <laughs> northwest. What the hell was going on over there? We having a party? I don't think it's the bank. It's on the roadside. It's one of these houses. I think we're going to take this route. Uh, what am I looking at here? Gangrenous crawlers. So, we got a collapsed tower. Hey there, collapsed tower. Yeah, we got to get away from that. Okay. Well, I I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no pharmacies. Um and no good east to west directions back immediately west and then north either keep going north or back this direction right over here Vehicle's gonna stop moving any time now and we'll be done. I, oh crap. Eh, toxic gas. But I won't survive getting out of this vehicle. Not at the speed we're at. On the grass. <laughs> Alright, empty ambulance. North here. I think I'll go one further down and then north across. Ooh, yuck. I'm not liking that or that. Not with what we've got left of a vehicle. Um. So, ambulance, ambulance. Nothing in the slots. I don't think that was the one I saw one in earlier. Yeah, this is going to be an ugly intersection. This might stop me right here. Gonna be too much crunching. Slow down. 
slow down. You guys fighting a wasp? Good for you. Um, the dogs are in the way. <laughs> Go faster, dogs. Ah, I let the guy in. There we go. Uh, yeah, we got to turn here. Hopefully without hitting the car or the lamppost. Managed it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Fancy driving. What do we got? Still nothing. Damn. We're just getting really unlucky. And another section I'm not going to be happy with. Roadblock. Rat control. Rat control. Um, okay. Ambulance. Come on, show me the baskets. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, wrecked. That's what, four ambulances? Five? And then only one of them has had one single item. Or one basket with stuff. And we're getting out of the commercial district. It's not smoosh a gasoline zombie. A hospital! We're saved! <laughs> I'll just jaunt into the hospital. Pick up some antibiotics. Oh, we're so dead. So, so dead. Whoops. Turn radius was not nearly what I was expecting. Uh, can I fit? I don't think I can fit. What are we? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, we can fit if I get it. I guess we're on the right. Yeah, we're on the right path. Is he going to be able to shock me? I think he might be able to shock me. I think the windshield's all gone. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Ah, we're running out of road again. Not good. Right in front of the hospital. Ouch. There's no way for me to get out of there. I'm going to have to back up right into the mess we just left. Ooh. Or squeeze through here, possibly. It's not going to gain me much, but we're going to give it a try. <laughs> I can't keep it going straight. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'll just get a rubber mallet. That'll 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 We'll just, we'll just hammer that right out. <laughs> a little, little bit of buff. A little bit of wax. <sighs> Two liquor stores. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we hit the intersection and go south. It's kind of our last opportunity. We're just... Uh, I don't want to go through a dissolute and a skell jug. <laughs> Guess we'll keep going straight. Oh, it's another ambulance, but it looks like a wreck again. So many ambulances. So few items. Oh, that's an RV. Not an ambulance. Trying to pick the path of least resistance not greatest resistance but i'm not getting a good job or good opportunities for it 
Oh, I hit the bike. I hit the bike. I hit the bike. Oh, it, it counts it as connecting to the ambulance or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, I think we're stuck on the bike, which was stuck on the other vehicle. <laughs> now we're not stuck. Oh, man. I can't believe this thing's still driving. Okay. Let's back it up a bit. Dislodge that tough zombie from our front uh, wheel well. Semis, semis. They got some. They got some. Some meat on them bones. Fire truck. Got poison me again. Oh, I managed to avoid the poison. Yeah, the chance we're going to find anything over here is nil. I mean, there's not going to be any pharmacies out here in this residential areas. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm tempted to ditch the vehicle and just start trying to run through houses. <laughs> Let's see. We'll keep going south. I think north is where I probably want to have gone. Security van. Well, I guess turning is necessary. I don't want to cut the... No, I don't want to cut the corner. That's a dead end. I think we're going to hit a dead end to the south here real soon, too. I got only one choice. Every direction is a dead end, and I'm pretty sure this one's going to stop. Uh-oh. Yep, there's the dead end again. And we got a trail. There's absolutely no way I can get around that. So I need to smash that shocker zombie and then flip this thing around. What's going on over here? Ah, flowers. The houses look really nice. I really like the look of the houses. Whoops! Oh crap! <laughs> I'm not in view mode. <laughs> I'm still in drive mode. I think. Oh, it's a predator. Uh, that's not good news. I need to flip this thing around. Um, predator hitchhiker will kill me real quick. Uh, I can hit the gas, try to kill the predator before I hit the trees. Or... I can stop and just start driving backwards to hell with whatever's behind me. And we're dead tired. Hey, look at that. Not even two hours in, we hit dead tired status. And all we've really been doing is driving. <laughs> I really I really wish they would retune the uh, fatigue on infected starts. It's just, <laughs> you got two hours and then you're dead tired. And if you go to sleep, you pretty much stay dead tired. <laughs> the fatigue accumulates faster than the sleep. It's not quite that bad. It's just barely you get more fatigue rest than you gain, but it still puts you in just barely not dead tired when you wake up. So then you get another like half hour and then you're dead tired again. <laughs> so you get like no time to find a solution. Uh, tune it just a little, please. Just, just dial it back a bit. That's all I'm asking. It's just, just way too much right now. I think it's funner if I try to uh, go straight into that predator. Let's try to kill him. And then try to break before we face plant into the trees. Look at that. Stops on a dime. Whoa! Hey, Shock Sandy. Oh, that was, that was some pro-level driving right there. 
Alright, so I gotta go north all the way. Every single westward path is blocked until I get out there. And going east, I don't think it's gonna help me any. Nothing's really gonna help at this point, but <laughs> the vehicle's totally trashed and we don't have a solution to anything yet. 